Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jimmy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a damaged tow hook on your burden step on binding. So uh, I'm going to be showing you this on the version 1 with the open tow hook and also on the version 2. When I go ahead and install the version 2 tow hook back, I'm going to install it on the version 1 base plate because a lot of people keep asking me, hey, is it possible? So I'm going to show you that it is. But the only thing that you have to keep in mind though is that I don't think Burton's going to be selling that tow hook. Um, it's unfortunate, but um, yeah, I don't think it's happening unless you own a version 2 and uh, you damage the version 2 tow hook. So I, with, like in my past experience with Burton, when I've uh, damaged like a binding, like a tow strap or something like that, usually what they do is they ask you what year it is, when you got it and they give you that part for, for, for that same exact year. They don't give you like the next year's or the upgraded one. So I don't see them doing that unless you own the version two, but you never know. So um, I'll go ahead and show you how to replace the tow hooks though, just in case they get damaged. A lot of people, mostly like new people, they do damage them sometimes uh, when they don't know how to get out properly and sometimes uh, they need to get replaced. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the, the cushion, like the footbed here. So just kind of pop it up from the back, just like if you were going to install it onto, onto the, the board. And let me show you here. What we're trying to do here is we're, there's like a little tab right here. And what we want to do is we want to pop that, pop that off. So just be very gentle and you're gonna kind of pry a little bit up, but very slow so that we don't damage that. Let me see if I can do it just with the camera here. So we're gonna pry a little bit this way. You can kind of see if you look closer, closely there, you can kind of move this forward too to make it easier. And that's all it, it is. So once it's forward and you pop this little tab here, the rest of it is gonna come out just like that. That's how simple it is. So the plan is to, these tow hooks, when you take them out, all they do is they come forward and that's the, how you're gonna take it out. It slides forward this way. So what we, we have to do is we have to pry a little bit here with the screwdriver, just do it nice and evenly here and here. And this is gonna start moving forward like that. Um, what, what I suggest you guys do is maybe just put some like painter's tape just there. You don't have to, but just to kind of protect this, this, the, the plastic on the, on the base plate. So another great idea too that I would do is just take a picture of, of the tow hook, just the position of it. Cause if you look at this one, it almost looks like it's kind of sticking out a little bit right here, but that's just the way it is. But just take a picture of it. That way you know how, how much back you have to go. But if you look at this one, you can kind of tell it's flush right here against the, the base plate itself. So on both sides, you can kind of tell it's a little flush. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm gonna use just a, a screwdriver here and I'm gonna start kind of moving that off. I'll probably go around just to kind of show you guys. Well, I'm gonna put just a little bit of this painter's tape right here before I start prying forward a little bit. And as I'm taking it off, I'm not going to speed up the camera. I'm just going to do it like in real time. That way you guys can kind of see. So you, what I did is I just put a little painter, painter's tape right here and right here. So and what you can do too is the gap isn't that big. So you don't put too much of that tape. But uh, what you can do is also put it around the, like the screwdriver. Just kind of wrap it around. And like I said, you don't have to do this. This is just something that I'm gonna do just kind of to protect this binding in case, in case I need to pry a little hard there. So let me go around, let me show you what I'm gonna do. All right, so I wanna get in here and here. So I'm gonna start from this side. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna start prying a little bit. And you can see it's little by little, it's, it is going up forward. Try on this side. Yeah. Okay, move forward so the gap is bigger. Let's go on this side. Yep. 
There it is. Let's see if we can take it off. It's almost there. So let's come around. And that's how simple it was. So now it should come off pretty, it's, it feels loose. So just kind of move it forward, wiggle it a little bit, and there it is. So if you look at the inside here, you just got have to move it forward and it'll move in this, its track and it, it'll come forward. So that's the version one right here. So the version two is gonna be the same from what I understand. So on, just like two days ago on Sunday, I went and bought a brand new set of uh, the Burton Step-Ons. And I just got the regular ones, but with the updated tow hooks, I was kind of up in the air if I should buy the new ones, because I do have two pairs of the version ones. But since I'm making these videos for you guys, I decided to go ahead and do it. So, but uh, I haven't opened the box, let's check it out. But it's gonna be the same, it shouldn't be any different. So that one's the right one, let's see. I kind of feel bad doing it on something that's new, but I've never opened these yet. But for you guys, let's go ahead and do it, man. Let's just go for it. Ooh. Ooh, these look so nice and they're new. So let's see. So this is the wrong one. Let's get the right one. I'm doing the right one since the version one is the right one. So Alright, so brand new binding and I'm gonna do the same thing. So these are a little tighter, the footbed's a little tighter because they're brand spanking new. When you pull on this stuff, just be very gentle and it's gonna come off but just be gentle don't force it or you're gonna end up breaking a tab and then the, the, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to, to ride so and it's it's identical it's a it's the same thing here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go slow and there it is popped off just like the version one man look how brand new this is i just took it out of the box and I, I bought them on sunday just two days ago and i never I never looked at them, I just asked for them and and I got them, so. So it'll be interesting to see these little new tow hooks, how they're in there. But I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm just gonna protect these. It looks like the gap is a little smaller on these, so I, I might have to use like a skinnier screwdriver to get in here. Yeah, it does look like that. The gap is a little tighter. So, let's see if I can get in here with this. Let's see, it's okay, I don't. I'm gonna go little by little on both sides. Okay, there it is. So once, and don't don't be afraid to don't be afraid to use to use like a smaller screw uh, flathead just to kind of get it started, and then go to, go to a bigger one once you have a, a gap. But just be gentle with it, and it should come off, you know. So I already kind of moved it forward a little bit, and I'm just gonna pry a little bit forward. You can see it's kind. I'm gonna go around the camera, and I'm doing this with with me around the camera. So there you go, you see the gap? Boom. Just do side by side. And it's coming off pretty easy. Not bad. There it is. Now I'm just kind of pushing forward, just a little force. Boom, and there it is. So if I pry forward a little bit, there it is. So the interesting thing is, let's see, there's that, there's the, the the base plate there, very similar to the version one. They look identical to me. Let me compare them. Ooh, shoot, those parts fell apart. Yeah. So looking at them side by side, they're identical. Push that one back. 
But if you look where the toe hooks go, they're identical. There's nothing different there. Look at that one. They're identical. So now what I'm gonna do is, this is the brand new binding. I'll put this over here. So I'm gonna install, so look, so this is the difference. So with the, the version twos, the difference is that these little, air, these little things that they put in the tow hooks now, you have to, when you slide this thing back in here, you're gonna have to put them, you're gonna, they have, uh, I'll show you. It's not complicated, really simple, but you have, they, it has this indentation right here, and then you have these little teeth right here. And so when you go ahead and put it in, there it is. So you're gonna have to hold it once you're, you're gonna install it on, so. Let's do it. So I'm gonna, I have this side on, I'm just kinda put this one in here. Just lay it in there. Just remember that the inside part, it's gonna have the little hook there. And it's not gonna let you install it backwards, even if you tried, so. It'll be, yeah, it's dummy proof. You can't screw this one up. So now, I'm gonna grab, the version one binding, and I'm gonna install the version two toe hook on it, just, so, just to show you guys that you can do it. But remember, it's probably not gonna happen, so, but still cool just to try. So I'm just gonna kinda line them up here. So I'm screwing that up. Put them back again. Let's try again. That's a little better. There it is. So all you, all I had to do was hold those little to, those little uh, inserts there and line it up into the track, and now it's in there. And now you can kind of see it's it's sitting a little lopsided in there. But let me grab something so I don't destroy the 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 binding or my table. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use this, uh, this sweater here just to kind of protect the binding and my table because I'm gonna be using my mallet to kind of start getting it, kind of start pushing it in. So I'm gonna be doing it evenly. And I, I don't wanna mess up the, my toe hooks the, like, or scratch them or whatever, so I'm just gonna put like a little rag over it. And and get going here. So I need to get going more on this side. It's getting there. And if you, I think what it, what will make it easier is if you're like if you put it on the ground. There it is. All right, now I gotta do this side, just to do it evenly. There it is. I'm gonna cushion this a little bit more. But I'm just kinda hitting it right here, in this area right here, just so it goes in. And here we go. Let's just finish it off now. Guys, do not hit this with a metal hammer. Just use something soft like a mallet or something. Let's see how much more we have. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That gap is closed. I'm just gonna hit this one a little bit more and it's done. 
And this is the first time I'm trying this and that's how easy it is. There it is. Yep. All right, so there it is. So just double checking here, but there it is. So if you look, this is all lined up here in this area. So let's try it out. I dropped the cushions here, the foot beds. So I'm gonna install the, the old one on here. And all you have to do is kind of just bring this over like this. Let's see. Oop, should not done that like that. That's okay. As long as you're gent gentle, you're not gonna break any tabs. But if you're yanking on it, and it's if you're yanking on it and it's not coming off, don't keep forcing it. So, all right. So now it's yeah on. So let's put it at nine. That's the size boot that I wear. So there it is. There's the step on. We're gonna grab a boot and we're gonna try it out. So, all right. So. Version two toe hooks on the version one base plate. There it is, guys. It works, no problem. So, try to get it up, no? All right, bring this one up. And there it is. I replaced the version one toe hook with the version two on the version one base plate. So it's possible, I told you guys it is, but hopefully Burton will help us out somehow. We'll see you guys. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching all my videos, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you, on the next, I'll see you guys on the next one, bye-bye.